Hello, everyone. Uh, in addition to the lecture, I also want to show you we have some uh, demo code that can help you understand the uh, case study in the fractional factorial design better. First, the leaf spring uh, experiment, the data. This is the data we got. If you look at the data, this is BCDEQ. If you go back to the design, if you go back to the design, you will be able to see this is the data we got. This is BCDEQ. Then we have YI, the location and dispersion effect. If you look at uh, this one, this is BCDEQ. And this will be the three y uh, three replicates for each experiment to run. You will only have y i bar. See if I put it right here, you can see that the data is the same, right? Seven point seven nine point zero three in log, and uh, you have minus one plus 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 and then plus plus minus minus, right? So this will be the this column is b c d e q, and this will be the three three data point. Okay, now let me close this one, otherwise it won't be able to get open by the software. Now, in this code, um, this is a, uh, this code will replicate everything that we discussed, the half normal plot to identify the significant effect and also to uh, compute the factorial effect. You see, after the computation, you will be able to see the, I click on run. This is what I click on, I click on run this code. Then I will be able to see the uh, factorial effect because we have BCDEQ, BQ and two factor interaction, the three factor interaction. Then these are the 16 uh, degree of the freedom and, and we can see the uh, factorial effects for the location and for the dispersion. You can see the big values here, B, C, D, E, Q. And uh, this D is not very significant, but uh, B, C, D, B, C, E, they are significant. And this is a lens method. Lens method, you can also see the uh, factorial effects for all of them. At the same time, you can see the half normal plot based on the effect that we have, okay? And uh, you can see that uh, Q, B, C, C, Q, potentially E and B, Q, those are the same as what we discussed right uh, here. This one is the same. And uh, if you go check the, for the dispersion, this is for the dispersion, you can see B and the potentially B, C, Q and D, E, Q. Okay. No, B, D, Q and the B, C, Q. It's the same as this one, B, D, Q, B, C, Q. Okay, so those are the uh, factorial effects. How do you compute the factorial effects and all the logic and how to do the programming based on the data, they are all in this demo file. And I hope this gives you a pretty good uh, idea on how to apply the uh, methods that we learn in the class. Not only just learn theory, but also uh, do the program and the software and make them draw the plot so that you can visualize and, uh, and identify the significant uh, uh, factorial effects. The second demo is actually, the, this one is actually the, uh, we have a lot of interaction plot in the slide. Like, uh, uh, do we have interaction plot somewhere? Yeah, those ones. And you also have interaction plots like this. How do you draw the interaction plot? You just click on run. You will be able to see the, it's running. So now you see the four figures. Those figures are the same figures as what we have shown in the lecture notes. Figure one, two, three, and four. And then you can find the corresponding the minimum values that you can use to optimize the the experiments and optimize the production process. So uh, those are the two codes that can help you further understand the fractional factorial design. And if you have uh, uh, further questions, you can also refer to the 
book, read, read this chapter five, and also get uh, into the uh, appendix table so that you can use those tables in your real, uh, in, in your real experiments to do the fractional design. So those are the basic ideas. And I hope this two demo code give you a better understanding of those uh, concepts. Yeah, enjoy the, the, the demos and uh, the, this lecture on fractional factorial design. Please test and run those demos to gain a better understanding of the concepts.